Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It's January 14th. I just dropped the kids off at specials and then I made a couple copies and now I'm back in my room and I have a whole new to-do list to tackle this week. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is conference week, so we do have short days. I do have a few conferences each day, but Thursday and Friday I don't have any conferences. And um, Wednesday I have conferences until about 6 p.m., which is going to be really fun. Uh, but that's okay, because uh, the rest of the week I'm done at like 3.30, so it's normal. Um, I was really behind this week on my, on, my, on my plans because of so many meetings I had last week, so many other things that I had to do. So my plans for this week were really like super lame. But it is a spiral review week for reading and for math. So the planning was pretty easy. Um, right now I'm just going to start tackling my to-do list. I need to plan for next week. I have a sub on Tuesday. But next week is a four day week, so that should be fine. I just have to make sure that my sub plans are great. But because next week is Martin Luther King week, they're gonna do Martin Luther King stuff all day on Tuesday with the substitute. So that will be nice. And it will be like just something that they, I can just print out, give the sub, and they can just deal with that. I'm also teaching area next week. So that is pretty much, I have everything printed for that. I just have to type up the plans. And then everything else from here on out is pretty much test prep and review. There are a couple of newer standards that I need to cover before testing begins, but none of it is like super difficult. So anyway, I'm gonna get this started. This week is another busy week for the Valdez family. Tonight we have a birthday party at four. And then tomorrow we have swim lessons. Wednesday we have swim lessons. And then Sunday night, I'm gonna be headed off to the Get Your Teach On conference here in Phoenix. If you guys are planning to attend, I'm hoping you are, um, please let me know on my Instagram. I'm going to be posting every day asking who is going because I believe we're gonna be doing a meetup. Uh, I am going to be hanging around with Jennifer from Genuine Teaching, Ashley from Lipstick and Littles, and then a couple of other people. So um, keep your eyes peeled on all of our Instagrams because we are planning on doing a meetup if you are going to be at the Phoenix Conference. And if you are not already following my Instagram, make sure that you do. It is at Apples and Tiara so that you can get real-time updates about meetups and stuff like that. So... I'm probably going to do a shorter vlog this week. I won't be vlogging Thursday and Friday unless I decide to pick up the camera. It'll probably be a totally separate vlog just because I do want to get this posted in time so that everyone can plan for that conference. So I'm going to go ahead and tackle my to-do list. Also, I have until about 10 a.m. to finish what's in my cup right now. And then I need to get hot to trot on this bottle. However, I do have to say that I did have a cup of coffee and I did have a protein shake. So I've got a lot of liquids going through me right now. So the water has been a challenge this morning. But I'm going to get started on this to-do list and I'll check in with you guys later. Good morning everyone. Happy Tuesday. I just got in the door and... I have my to-do list set up, ready to go. So I did a bunch of stuff yesterday. Um, pretty much the majority of my to-do list other than planning for next week and prepping and then finishing up our field trip stuff. So it is conference week, so I have another round of parent-teacher conferences today. However, I think I only have like three of them. Let me check. Yeah, so I only have four conferences and my last one is at 3.15. So I should be up and out of here by three uh, by 3.30 today. So I'm gonna do my best to do as much planning this morning as I can and get things prepped and ready for next week. Most important thing is prepped for my sub on Tuesday. Now I was gonna teach my students area next week, but because there's gonna be a sub, I'm gonna push that to Wednesday. I won't start it on Tuesday because I don't wanna substitute starting a new um, skill. So I'm gonna actually do a review day for them for that and then I will start teaching area on Wednesday so I'm just gonna sit down and get through this stuff plan out next week and then I also got an email regarding my second observation 
because I'm new to the district, I do have to have two observations per school year. So this time my principal, sorry, there's a landscaper out front. I have to do, so my last observation was for math and this second one is gonna be for ELA. So I think I'm gonna do a reading lesson and I think I might do a jigsaw in there uh, because we are trying to do collaborative structures daily in the classroom and I've been really trying to get my students doing more of that. So I'm gonna try to figure out which standard I'm supposed to be teaching that week and then kind of pre-plan ahead for that week. It's in a few weeks, but it would be nice to already know kind of where I'm going with it so that I can do a really nice lesson plan. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get started and I'll see you guys in a sec. Hey guys, so it is afternoon recess time. It is 1.40, I pick up my kids in about 10 minutes. Oh, it has been a crazy day. We have been busy, just go, 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 go. I've gotten almost everything done on my to-do list today. All I have left to do is plan for writing next week and plan for reading next week. I've already started doing that, so I'm pretty much on a roll. And then I'm done. The last thing on my to-do list is to finish all of the field trip documentation and get that submitted. So I will be planned for next week and hopefully prepped for next week by tomorrow at release time. So I should be able to finish my plans today and then tomorrow prep everything during lunch and specials and in the morning, and then I'll be done. So then I can spend uh, Thursday and Friday grading, which this is my new thing. So I'm gonna try and do Monday through Wednesday is planning and prepping, and then Thursday and Friday is grading. So um, Marie from the caffeinated class does this where she grades every Thursday and Friday, and I'm gonna try it out to see if I can just create like a schedule for myself. So I also did a little bit of cleaning up around the room, and I really want to um, declutter and just kind of get rid of some stuff. I um, haven't been using these table caddies recently, and I feel like I need to get them back out on the table groups, but here's my thing. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but I have these desks that are uneven. So like this one's way t taller than this one. These are shorter. Now I could rearrange the desks, by height, but then I would have to make those students move their stuff from their desk into another desk. So I don't really feel like doing that right now. Um, if I came across some like extra boxes, I could do that. I would really like to next year have all the tables organized by size, by like height, and make them all one size, and then I could put my table tubs back on, but I really don't think that that's gonna work this year so I think next year I'm gonna try that so I think what I'm gonna do with my supplies all the stuff that's in those bins those bins I'm going to put the uh, supplies into these bins down here you guys can see them they were my center bins but then I switched my centers up so now I think I might make those supply bins and do like one for crayons, one for uh, colored pencils, one for scissors, one for glue, one for highlighters, whatever else, and have those sitting up there instead of those. And I am also not using the book bins anymore, so I'm thinking I might stack those up and put them away. However, I really like the way that they look right here, but I think that I could use these cubbies in a better way. I think I could store other things in them and just make them more useful instead of having things out. I also moved all of my plants because they were on table groups, but because 
Again, the unevenness of the tables, that kind of just drives me bananas. So I put one there, I put one on my front desk, I put one on that little table up there, I put one over here, right there, and then I have one on my desk, and then I have one back here at my tall table. So I have my little plants around the room which still make it super homey and comfortable, but um, they're not being like out on the desks where students can pick at them and they just end up moving them away because they're in the way of their workspace anyway. So why not just make them more of like a atmospheric piece? Um, I really want to get some like fake electronic candles and like put those next to each plant and like turn off the lights and have just like a little like restaurant feel. So yeah, things are coming along. I really wanna get a dishwashing rack for my sink because I, this is my second home and I have dishes and I wash them here and I have this like tub that I pulled there's a bunch of loose crap up in this cabinet that I took out of this. But I think I want to go buy one of these from Walmart and then get one of those dish dish drying racks and put it down here in my sink. That way I can wash my dishes and then leave them in the sink to dry. Because I don't like putting them down like in the sink itself. Like This one still needs to be washed. And then I really want to get a plate and a bowl, either plastic or glass, to keep in the classroom with my other dishes so that when I bring like a salad in a bag, I can just use the bowl. Cause I have a fork, a knife, a spoon, and a like one for cutting apples, like kind of a sharper knife um, that I store like way, way up and away. So that if I need to cut an apple or like something, I have it. So I really wanna do that and then get some dish soap. I have a dish washing item but dismiss I know I need to drink water but I want to do that so I think I might get that at Walmart I don't know when because I'm really excited so all the money that I've been saving up from doing princess parties I've been saving up for two things first thing I'm saving to buy myself some cute outfits for my spring break cruise and second, I've been saving up for a new iPad because I would love to try digital planning. And I have a super old iPad that Cash sometimes uses when he watches movies in the car. And I think eventually, even though I don't want him to be a screen baby, I don't want him to be like obsessed with the iPad, we use it for travel purposes or if we're at a restaurant and he's driving us crazy, we'll plop a movie in front of him just to just keep him calm. Because if you have a toddler, you understand. <laughs> he doesn't watch it the whole time. He just, I'm not explaining myself. Anyway, I got myself a brand new iPad and I'm so excited. It's gonna be here tomorrow and I'm gonna have it in time to take to get your teach on and I can take notes and I'm just so excited. I also ordered a case for it and I did get the Apple Pencil and um, I got a cover for the pencil. So I'll show that to you guys when I get it. But we don't have any writing today. It is early release due to parent-teacher conferences. So I'm gonna just get off of this camera and I'm gonna let you guys go. And I hope that you're all having a wonderful week. I am so far. And I will see you guys in the next vlog, which will probably be Get Your Teach On. <gasps> Jennifer and I are planning to vlog the whole thing. So hopefully I'm not a wuss and I pull out my camera and I vlog real stuff because I don't wanna be a wuss and just get like, random clips, I wanna actually vlog it. So, wish me luck. I need to be a big girl, put on my girl bi big girl pants, and vlog in public. <sighs> Maybe if Jennifer's doing it, then I won't feel as awkward. So, that's my, that's my strategy.